Okay, Greg Pickle. 28-17 Ohio State wins. Penn State fights hard. But this is a look ahead, so let's talk about some things that the fan base want to know about. In your mind, is there any kind of quarterback controversy? It's a silly question to ask, but I say it because Sean's a little beat up. Rutgers is, is coming up next. I think it's Sean Clifford's job, obviously. And I just think he was not healthy enough to play today, and James acknowledged that. Agreed. So if you look at what they do with a lot of their younger guys, they try and play him in the bowl game. But why not use Rutgers as a chance to let yeah. Sean Clifford heal up? <coughs> Clearly he's not 100%. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't been 100%. Maybe a token appearance early and then maybe, get him out of there. I don't even know if I would do that. I would let Will Levis play either the whole game. I mean, they're just going to hand it off. Well, yeah, or 90% of it against the Scarlet yeah. Knights. So, no, I don't think there's a quarterback controversy. I do think it would make sense to just play Will Levis. James Franklin did say he could have come back in, but they didn't think it was the right move for the team. I think we probably know why, because his ability to run mm -hmm. um, was, you know, was impacted after the last couple of weeks. So no, no quarterback controversy, but certainly uh, no reason to play Clifford next week either. Two more things to get to: Justin Fields and what might have been your thoughts on. He could have easily been, or he, I yep. shouldn't say easily. He could have been a Penn State Nittany line and playing for Penn State today. Some people might disagree with that, but I mean. He was, think, he was thinking about it when Moorhead was there, and he is a fantastic athlete. He's, yeah. He is the goods. I don't know what Georgia was thinking, letting him go or not playing him more, because he yeah. is dynamic. And he was the one he was the one piece on the chessboard. James Franklin said it. They just couldn't really account for He's that special. Yep, they have an answer for J.K. Dobbins in this Ohio State rushing attack pretty much the whole game. And there were times when they slowed fields down. But for the most part, yeah. when he... Ohio State needed him to make a running play. He did. And with and, his arm. And with his arm. And with his arm, too, yes. I mean, he was dynamic. He was versatile. He's exactly what uh, you know you want in a five-star quarterback. Penn State could have had it, doesn't have it. They have two pretty good guys in Sean Clifford and Will Levis, but neither one of them, or even if you put them together, they wouldn't be Justin Fields because there's just not many of that kind of caliber of athlete playing quarterback at the FCS level. So, yeah, I mean, it's always going to be, until he's uh, graduated from Ohio State or he leaves over to the NFL draft, it's always going to be a conversation of what could have been. Yeah. Let's not spend a lot of time. Let's not spend a lot of time looking ahead to Rutgers because we know what's going to happen. Yeah. Greg, if Ohio State gets to the uh, Big Ten Championship game and throttles whoever it is, whether it's Wisconsin or Minnesota, the way that Penn State played them today and the way that they played close against Minnesota and could have won, I, I'm not a college football rankings guy. Maybe you you can speak to it. It sure looks like to me there's a scenario they can go to Pasadena. So if they just have to be the highest ranked non Big Ten team, that you know non playoff Big Ten team, Ohio State in all likelihood is going to be in the playoff at right. number one, two, three, or four. So then you have uh, Penn State, Minnesota, Wisconsin in that next batch. Um, if so they play next week, of course. So the winner now goes to the Big Ten title game. So Wisconsin beats Iowa. Penn State's definitely going to the Rose Bowl, I think. And if Minnesota beats Wisconsin, but you're right. You, 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 you said Wisconsin, Iowa. Wisconsin, Wisconsin beats Minnesota. Wisconsin beats Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah. I think Penn State's definitely going. Unless Wisconsin would Say Minnesota Ohio beats State. Wisconsin and gets hammered. Yeah. Hammered I mean, by Ohio State. Well, so the committee already said they don't really care about Minnesota's win over Penn State and head-to-head -head because they already put Penn State back over top of the Golden Bowl. So I guess it'll be interesting to see what they do with them this week now that uh, you know Minnesota yeah. won and Penn State lost. But you're right. I mean, the Rose Bowl is 100% still in play for the Penn State team. Bob. Are you California dreaming? I, I, I think the fan base has a right to be right I now. Agree. But uh, a lot will happen. They got. It depends on how the game plays out. But if I, from here, I could see a scenario of Penn State's going back to Pasadena for the first time since 2016.